It's now Tuesday. It's kind of a hot day. That's why I'm wearing a tank top. Although it's later in the evening now and it's, you know, anyways, we're not here to talk about the weather. <laughs> so, um, where was I last night? I worked on this little drawing here. I'm starting a new sketchbook, which is a tiny size. It's multimedia, so the pages are pretty thick. But I wanted to use this sketchbook to explore more drawings like this. So kind of this dramatic effect of the really dark leaves and the contrast of black and white. So my idea is to use this sketchbook to explore maybe uh, some composition ideas, different types of flowers, maybe also integrated some imaginary flowers and then use that as a reference if I want to draw something at a bigger scale. I really love doing the big scale drawing I did a few a couple weeks ago. So I'll definitely be doing more of that. But I also want to work this week on color also. So I've sort of started experimenting with a way to add color in a more abstract way. So not coloring the flowers themselves, but adding color within my art piece. I don't know, I still need to experiment. So we'll probably do some of that. Um, that might be all I'm doing because I also have to catch it uh, starting Thursday for the weekend. So that also, it's fun to see a kitty, but also takes time from <laughs> doing all of this. And yeah, and I don't know, whatever comes up, I'll bring you along, okay? This is what I've been up to. I've been playing around with acrylic gouache, highly diluted in water, and it creates this kind of watercolor-ish effect, except it stays matte because it's acrylic gouache instead of um, watercolor. So I've tried it on paper, and like in this instance, I really like kind of what the blush pink did. But then I also tried the same technique, so highly diluted acrylic gouache on Canva. I don't have any stretched canvas right now, but I do have this pad of like sheets of Canva, which is super convenient, especially like for me experimenting right now. I didn't want to invest into stretched canvas right away. So yeah, I kind of played around with different greens. And then my idea is to draw some black and white flowers um, on the Canva. I'm going to use the rotring pen to draw on the Canva. Uh, the Canva is a pretty rough surface and it doesn't really work for the micron pen. And then um, bigger elements like say leaves and things, I'll probably use just paint. Yeah, so that's kind of where this is going, what I'm kind of experimenting with this week.
today is Sunday and it's kind of a hot and humid day. As you can see, I'm wearing a dress, which I don't do often. Um, but uh, yeah, I've had a really nice morning and now I'm ready to keep drawing, but I haven't updated you on what's going on on my desk so far. So let me show you. So this is a painting slash drawing I was working on earlier this week. The paint part came out a little muddy. Um, I love how the flowers came out. So I went ahead and kept experimenting with applying. This is uh, acrylic gouache to which I added some water. And I really like the mix of this blush pink and yellow. I actually painted it this way. I had the yellow at the bottom. But now I'm getting ready to add some black flowers. But I think I'm going to turn it around because I want to draw on top of this part more than that part. And then what else is going on? I started another drawing on my mini sketchbook. I might do a negative drawing, so just paint the background in black and add more details to the flowers. And if I have enough time today, I kind of wanted to just do another drawing on this paper, which is kind of a, you can't really tell on the camera, but it's kind of an off-white. And I really like that. Just like these drawings. When I drew this drawing, I didn't realize it was on off-white paper until I went to frame it. And I could really tell the difference against the white mat. But then I love the combination of the off-white background with this off-white frame. Same for this. I think I want to do another one of those and yeah. And another thing I need to do today is make a shorts for YouTube. I didn't make shorts this week. It was a little bit too much. I was also cat sitting for some neighbors, so it just got a little too much. Um, but I will post new shorts next week. So when this video comes out, I'll be, I'll probably have a shorts for tomorrow. I just need to make it happen. <laughs>
So I don't feel like I was as productive as I had anticipated or hoped this week, but that's okay. The only thing I didn't get to do uh, was uh, one of those drawings, but I'm really liking the direction in which my art is taking. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Also, thank you so much for watching this video, especially if you watch till the end. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next week with a new vlog. Bye.